Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes each must win their matches at WrestleMania, otherwise they essentially go to the back of the line. Both McIntyre and Rhodes each turn 40 years old in June of next year. Rhodes left the WWE in 2016, after 10 years of relative mediocrity in the company, and McIntyre was fired by the WWE in 2014, after 7 years with the company. Cody Rhodes returned to the WWE after 6 years in 2022, and has become a 9-day tag team champion, and 2-time Royal Rumble winner, with no singles titles. Drew McIntyre returned to the WWE in 2017 after three years, becoming NXT champion, winning the tag team titles with Dolph Ziggler, the Royal Rumble in 2020, and a two-time WWE champion. However, he won his two WWE championships during COVID in 2020, which was almost like winning no titles since no one actually saw it happen. Clearly, McIntyre has had far more success than Rhodes since returning to the WWE, but he was also a TNA World Champion as well, a title Rhodes failed to win during his time with the company. However, McIntyre, like Rhodes, needs to finish his story too. He has now faced Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins on multiple occasions for world titles, and has failed in all his previous attempts. He could not even defeat Gunther for the Intercontinental title this past year. Thus, if he is unable to defeat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania and capture a world title in front of a live audience, then it is time for McIntyre to move on from the WWE, because clearly the WWE would have no long-term title plans for him moving forward. Cody Rhodes, on the other hand, has a bit more wiggle room to work with than McIntyre. Rhodes signed a multi-year contract extension with the WWE in October of 2023, and is on the cover of WWE 2K24, with his 93 game rating. However, if Rhodes does lose again to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and fails to finish his story, then he essentially becomes an overpaid mid-card wrestler, who just happens to wrestle in main event matches. The Miz is a mid-card wrestler, but he is also a future WWE Hall of Famer. The Miz is a two-time WWE Champion, an eight-time Intercontinental Champion, and a two-time United States Champion, who has headlined and won a WrestleMania main event. In comparison, Cody Rhodes is just a two-time Intercontinental Champion, winning his last title in 2012, more than a decade ago. Thus, unless Rhodes finishes his story at WrestleMania, he will essentially be an overhyped top-of-the-card wrestler, who has never won the big one, and needs to get to the back of the line, no matter how much the WWE is paying him.